All right, everyone, let's talk about sports for a moment. There have been a couple of high-profile stories, and I think it's, it's worthy of discussion. This one, a youth football team in November that a perfect record was kicked out of the playoffs. What did they do wrong? Nothing. They, they were just too good. They were beating the other teams on average over the course of seven games, I should say. They outscored their opponents. 199 to 6. Obviously, it's lopsided, but this young team of seven and eight year olds was just really good. And they were penalized. They were denied the opportunity to go to the playoffs and become champions. Of course, in news, a college, I'm sorry, a school, um, what was that, Connecticut High School. The female coach was suspended and the school apologized for a 92 to four win. This girl's team was winning 92, I mean, won 92 to four and said like it was a 56 to nothing at halftime and 80 to nothing after three quarters. I guess in the fourth period, they scored six points. Uh, I mean, this is embarrassing. It said that the team that won was considered one of the. Of course, when you win 92 to 4, yeah, they scored 4 points, not 6. It's pretty impressive. Now, a lot of people were angry because people said that Sacred Heart continued to run its fast break and shoot three pointers with a game well out of hand. Well, of course, the school has offered an apology and said that this will be looked into and it goes against the core values of the school, yada, yada, yada. Now, I'm not one normally inclined to root for blowouts, but then again, a nice blowout's fun, right? But when it's that lopsided, you feel bad for the other team. But isn't that the point of competition to win? That's the goal of it. I mean, there are other goals. You learn sportsmanship, team... Uh, you learn to play as a team. You also learn to develop coordination. All the things that you learn in part of sports. You learn to deal with loss. You learn to deal with blowouts if they happen. Now, how do you penalize a team and tell them that they've done wrong for doing what you've trained them to do? My favorite college team is Alabama Crimson Tide. Nick Saban, their coach, teaches excellence on every play, every moment, do everything to the best of your ability. Isn't that what we want our youth to do when they're learning, when they're competing, to be the best that they can? And if they happen to be able to score every time they touch the ball, should they be penalized? Should we teach our youth just to beat people by just enough so it doesn't hurt their feelings? I don't think so. I mean, I'm not advocating that teams just go out there and blow every team out because it's usually not going to happen. But they should try, and when it does happen, we should not penalize the coaches, the people in charge, and certainly not the players. You don't deprive them of an opportunity to go win a championship or to, to at least compete for one. For crying out loud, let these kids play. Let the coaches coach. And if you have lopsided victories, so be it. You know, it's it's an old adage that if you don't want someone to score on you, stop them. If you can't stop them, then they deserve the chance to score on you. And they're going to. I just, I can't imagine being a parent on the side of a blowout loss. That would suck to know that your child feels poorly about it. But I can't imagine being a parent that would tell my kid, that was wrong of them to beat you so badly. I'm going to do something so that never happens again. I think I would teach my child, well, you did the best you could, right? Sometimes the best isn't enough. And sometimes you lose by slim margins. And sometimes you lose by large margins. Sometimes you get it handed to you. That's just the way it goes. But we live in this world now where everything has to be same, same, equal, equal. You, what, we only want teams to win by one point? 
two points? Yeah, that's fine. But you start having a blowout, oh, that's just unsportsmanlike. No, it's not. When you use unfair tactics, if you cheat, that's unsportsmanlike. But if you're doing the job, you're playing the game within the letter of the rules, you're not exploiting anybody or anything. You're just doing what you're supposed to do. That's okay to me. What about all those girls on that team that were possibly looking to get the stats so that they can maybe get a college scholarship offered to them? Should they deprive themselves of bettering themselves in the future because they don't want to hurt the other team's feelings? I mean, you have to look at it from both sides. So I'd like to know, what are you guys' thoughts? Should officials step in? I mean, I think maybe there should be a mercy rule. If it gets that far out of hand, stop the game and say, you know what, it's official, it's the third quarter, if you're being blown out, we're going to end the game, or the third period, or something like that. Or if you're winning by, you know, a thousand percent of points or something like that, yeah, then, well, whatever. You know, if you're playing baseball and it's 40 to nothing in the fifth inning, maybe throw in the towel. Give the coaches the opportunity to throw in the towel and to say, you know what? We quit. We give up. That could be a way to save face for your team, but it should never be the team that's winning that has to hoist the surrender flag. They should not have to do that. You, the coach of your own team that's being blown out, should man up, woman up, go to the ref and say, look, we surrender. We'll give them the win. Just let our kids out of here, you know, out of the game so that they can save some face. That's kind of how you handle it. You don't go and penalize the coach for doing their job because they taught their children, their athletes, how to do their jobs. What are we doing? Trying to ruin sports for kids? I'm not about that. So let me know in the comment section what you think.